expand the ruby previously. They're trying to limit down Luke and Beloisky's hero pool to limit this flex, and now I think Geek Fam are kind of confused as to what they want to go for. They want to put that Arlet into the roaming position, getting a little bit of poke, but again, against the Grok, Anti-CC is built in that kit. It okay. seems like they will be going for ah. a Yu Zhong in that back line. Famous words from R7. <laughs> I, also, I also actually asked uh, Fight Chicken. <laughs> R7 said, for the Yu Zhong, the best or the worst matchup for a Yu Zhong marksman is a Brody, which is interesting to me because I thought that would be a good matchup, but it's not. So the Brody actually smashes the Yu Zhong, apparently. I asked White Chicken, check again, and he agrees. Yeah, I mean, they have been trying to put the Geek Fam in a tough position with that Arlot flex, and now it's going to be Arlot in the Rome position, but we are going to be underway for the first match of the day, the first game against Bigatron and Geek Fam as well. A few stats, of course, to see and seek after as well. Early to mid-game potential. It's always going to be the name of the game for both sides of the team. While we go and arrive in the Land of Dawn, we are going to get ready. Who will bring the first game? Will it be Geek Fam or will it be the Red Robot seeking vengeance? It's going to be Bigatron against Geek Fam. Boy, oh boy, I personally can't wait again, ladies and gentlemen. It's a rematch, technically, from the playoffs last season. And Bigatron, yeah. they got third place. Why? Because of Geek Fan. Yeah, of course. Now we do see Super Ken and Ray both respectively moving towards their buffs. Moreno on the mid side. It's not going to be a tough challenge to really fare up against the Valentina, but Key is currently moving and trying to really deny that, you know, fast farm coming in from Ray and that pressure they're trying to instill on Ray is really really conspicuous now in this matchup. You gotta go for the rookie, right? Yeah. I love the preemptive measure that Big and Sean took uh, knowing that Beloisky on this Arlet could be very oppressive in the early game. Beloisky can just jump in with that Vengeance constantly, get the reset. So they actually even rotated Cerizo over yeah. to leash Mr. Ken in the jungle. Meanwhile, this should be the main focus when we're talking about Bigatron Alpha's composition. Now that they have a Brody, they have to play a bit more of strong side. But this could also be a subversion of the expectations for Geek Fam. That's why Geek Fam has to be very, very smart as to how they rotate across the map. Ray already getting some good control over that top top side trying to get some pressure away from BTR from that turtle but he does get walled away quite a bit just will slow him down. Yeah Ray is able to really absorb the pressure and that is very nice for him for a rookie but I think they are going for a dive. Oh, oh. BB4 first blood hand goes to the hands of Ray. Luke now under the turret gets taken out as well. It's a one for one. It's Sorizo for Luke. Oh. In the bottom side it's oh. Amon now with oh. the flicker as well. One HP and Amon. Here's your first kill with a Bigatron jersey. Oh my god. That Sheesh. is insane. And they win out with the advantage. They are able to really collect that top or XP side dive. What's a huge success. They took out one and now Iman really, really itching himself in that matchup coming in against, you know, against Marky. Black Dragon form. Now Ray comfortably taken. Oh, what? K hey, taken, Ooh. stealing away the Lord in the backside as well. So Rizzo finding a kill on towards Luke now, who has died twice. And Geek Fam, they are not in favor here. What? That what happened? I thought what he got it, and he didn't even use the wild charge. Now Marky, <laughs> two v one, stunned up bottom side, and Marky gets the stun no. as well as Amon now collecting a kill again. Oh, it's gonna be uh, Beloisky taking the kill though. It's a trade, and now it's Geek Fam still looking for trades, looking to somehow recover from that early game. What? Yeah, they are putting a lot of pressure on Bigatron. All of their movements is working very well now, and Beloisky. Just being shredded behind, and I think their map movements, their macro control has been very solid in the first few minutes of the game, Mirko. I'm looking at the replay here to really... Mm. I want to see what stole Basic that. Attack. I think <laughs> so Key just walks up and smacks it. <laughs> it's not even a wall. It's not, it didn't come out of... <laughs> he just missed the retry. That's plain and simple yeah. for Ray. He completely mistimed it, miscalculated it, and... Uh, now it's resulting in Bigatron Alpha having the gold lead early on and Iman with two kills. Actually, Marky lost the entire wave earlier from that dive. He kind of rotating over, but remember, with this Brody, if you play strong side both sides, I think it should favor this out of BTR. Yeah. 
for V3. Oh, early wall charges. Ray now taking some heat. Taken down as well, potentially, but no. Still have enough room to escape here as Geek Fam. They fail to initiate with a, a man up. Yeah, they were able to really survive that dive coming in. They even have to expend the, the Eternal Guard. But I think like the, the peel being given by Vexana is going to be uh, going to be uh, enabling them to really sustain the fights. I think Moreno has responded to that rotation very, very quickly. So they are safe, uh, trying to really retain that control under in the gold lane. Geek Fam look for a very, very fast movement, Ooh. but now he's getting super can. Oh my god, that's just... Disgusting, right? Good setup there, set up by Super Ken and Sorizo. Easy free kill for on towards Beloy. But take a look at this. Geek Fam, they want to contest this turtle. Luke with the Black Dragon form, BDF Ray, taking heat literally, oh, but damage. all Super Ken. Petrified at the backside. Turtle Ken. secured by the Barat. Super Ken solo killed by Luke in the backside. Now Luke again wants to soak the damage from Sorizo. Oh, it seems like the heat. From Moreno and Sorizo is a little Wait. bit too much, a boy in an old man's land, but perhaps oh. the stun now, oh. a boy oh. with the play! Valentina finds the outplay in the bottom Marky. side of the map, it is actually K with the help of Amon, of course, and Mon taking the turn on the kill. Beloisky now inside the bush, looking to grab space, but no, it's all for naught as Amon collects the double. A double kill in the bottom side of the map. Sure, Luke was able to find a kill there that was very impressive. A good chase down. Let's take a look at the items here, and that power spike is going to be crazy, man. Never even for the Brody, see Halbert. I think he might just go for the Melfic Roar next. He knows that Ray will be rushing to go for these physical defense items, but even now, he's actually kind of mixed up, right? Yep. He already has the Molten Essence. He's building towards what I think is the Athena Shield first to stop Moreno's burst damage initially from happening. But from Luke, now that he only has a Dreadnought armor, and if that is going to be a Melfic Roar from the side of Brody, it's going to be ridiculous. Also, fun fact, this is a build that we saw from few uh, earlier in the past tournament for AP Bren, mm -hmm. Glowing Wand first item whenever they are ahead. That Glowing Wand is going to present so much more uh, presence towards the side. Wall charge! Flicker wall charge on towards three. A boy taken out first. Beloisky might be next and he will fall. Luke, Luke. BDF. Oh, he will back off now taking so much damage as well. His Bigatron creates and grabs a more space. Marky, top side of the map here. Oh, Super 10 special migration misses oh. as of course turret now will be the main objective from the side of Big A Tron as the inner turret top side will fall here surely but no not this time perhaps the next wave yeah race kind of late to the fights uh, happening around the, the XP side jungle a boy has to hold this pressure alone and so far Bigatron is ready and always in the constant pressure not giving Geek Fam the space they need they also have secured the XP side turret a boy jumps in, tries to really, you know, push Key back. And this is the pressure that is constantly given by Bigatron. Geek Fam does not have, you know, space to breathe. And so far, for Gold, uh, for gold as well, they they are in the lead with 5k ahead, Mirko. Yeah, I mean, we're, we've been talking about Bigatron a whole lot because of the snowball. Let's try to look at Geek Fam now. What are their conditions uh, to win this game? I think it has to come from Marky and a boy at this point, right? Mm -hmm. Luke, he's about to fall off in terms of that damage, and if he dives to the back, and Mons is gonna melt him down with those basic attacks. Melt and done, by the way, earlier in that team fight. So, for Marky, I'm looking at that power spike, and unfortunately, when we look at normal Bruno power spikes, is the Berserker's Fury, the second item after the Haas Claws, but now I don't even think with the Berserker's Fury, he'll have enough damage to really push Bigatron back. They already have a lot of physical defense, and he's gonna have to wait for possibly a Melfic Roar, and that's gonna come very, very late in the game. The man is still on the way to his Berserker's Fury right now in the seventh minute of the game as we approach eight minutes. Yeah, he is denied all of the gold that he needs to really scale up. And they do really need some sort of a moment because a boy always have that IMU, of course, with all of the ultimates coming in for Bigatron. But I think Geek is ready to really assault oh. the pressure. Last side of him. Defensively, Mando will be picked up first. Luke now Luke. gaining space in the Luke. side of Bigatron. Now looking for the viewers that misses, but Moreno will be zoned out. Moreno. Will be taken out as well by the big bad Luke. And now Geek fam, they're looking for more, looking for space as the mid side now will fall surely from the side of Bigatron. Yeah, good old coming in. From Geek Fam, of course, with Luke always ready to jump in the back line, separating all of the players of Bigatron and Moreno just did not have enough sustain to really, really survive that dive coming from Luke.
One bad position from Iman is wow. all it takes to take the goal lead down from 6k to 3.6. Yep. Man, Iman way too over uh, extended there in that team fight. I think he got eaten up by the Barats and also slashed over all the way back behind the base turret. Definitely not worth it for BTR, but extreme value for Geek Fam. We did say in the keys to victory, gotta give Luke a damage dealing hero. Well, you know, maybe Yu Zong isn't the pick we were thinking of when we said damage dealing. He certainly is dealing a whole lot of damage, and he is the main carry right now for Geek Fam. Right? Soaking damage in front of the side of Megatron, but Luke. Again, Luke, the playmaker, man, he's looking to grab space, but this oh, time, oh, first down by the members of the Red Robots. Big draw now, a man up, and it seems like the Lord will be free for the Red Robots to take. Yeah, they have Pryo as well, and XP and Gold, and uh, they now have their hands on the Lord, so this is going to really ease up the process on trying to knock on the base of Geek Fam. Luke, again, trying to be the hero with that dive towards the back line, but it's just not enough because Bigatron now already, Moreno just bursted him down as well. With that self-peel coming in from the Vexana, it's always going to be ready to really just prolong their lives for that fight to ensue. Yep, the War Axe, Brute Force Breastplate as well. Don't note down that the power spike, the initial power spike for the bro, uh, Bruno yeah. has already been um, acquired there. Berserker's Fury now. See, this is the, the tough call now for him to make. Does he want to go for more damage, trust in his frontliner, go for the Melfic Gore, or does he want to play it a bit more defensively with the Wither Nature? It's always the question when you're already in around your third item, and for the Brody, it makes complete sense for him to just go for that Wither Nature. Now, on the way for that DHS, he's going to be shredding these frontliners even harder if or when he does get that DHS, <laughs> BTR wants to really pressure with the first lore. Yeah, they don't have the DHS, but I, I think they're going to dive in towards the base. Well, right now, again, trying to find the Daytona's welcome. So Rizzo, though, is the target now. Oh, he's just in from some side. Oh, knock up on towards Ray Malloy. and gets taken out. So Rizzo flickers out well, of the way. Turn. Luke, though, the front of the side will try to find a few Rizzo as well. On towards the Mon, taken out. Good knock up here to find momentum. Now, Geek Fam, they are trying to reset here as the four men still trying to defend of the minions from Bigatron. Yeah, that slash from uh, Beloy was ready to really just, you know, delay the follow-up coming in from Bigatron. And they, they still are, aren't really able to push far with the Lord even in their hands. So now, it's time for Geek Fam to really refocus and probably refresh and take a breather because so far, Bigatron has been in their faces constantly, non-stop. Really good initiative for the side of Geek Fam, right? Ray, that Detonus welcome straight on for Cerizo. He knows at this point they have to do something when these sieges come through. And we're going to take a look at the replay to see exactly what happened. It'll start with Barat munching on Cerizo, pushing him back towards this turret. And because of this initiative that has been done by Ray, they actually forced the fight. Cerizo decided to fight instead of using the last insanity defensively. And that created a whole lot of spaces, a whole lot of opportunity for Beloy, the patient roamer. We know to make that BBB play, the big brain Beloy play, and that <laughs> happened. Iman got slashed over, yeah. and that layer, that first layer of CC forced him to use the Wither Nature. The second layer of CC comes from the Furious Knife Petrify, and by then, no more defensive skills, no more cover, even from Moreno. Though now, 12 minutes in, the DHS has been completed by Iman. That's another big power spike for him. They have to start to really think patiently, very disciplinedly. Because if this goes over the 14th, 16 minute mark, that's when Geek Fam can really start to pick it, pick up the pace. Yeah, BTR leading slowly. That is 10 minutes now. But so far, Iman still leading the gold standings, of course. The Lord has respawned. And now Geek Fam wants to really contest this probably soon because Super Can is ready for this battle. And now Ooh. they're trying to really push back Bigatron in this fight. Oh, I don't know about this, right? Far lane. Secured by Bigatron. So now, yeah, Geek Fam, we force to somehow not contest. Yeah, they don't have resources for this as well. I think they are just losing in the positional sense. Cerizo is just peeling for the team, so, so, uh, absor absorbing the damage for Cerizo. But the Lord is going to be taken down quite slowly. Ray is ready with the retribution as well, ready in the hands. All spells are up. BDM oh. by Lugo with the backside. What the Iman. heck? Iman deleted Beloisky now. Last insanity. Ray finds the Lord as well as Iman will be Avoid. taken out. Geek fam with the swing of a momentum. Kui now backing off. Luke though stunned up. Trying to soak in. Still surviving. 
and there you go, Geekfam with a clear win. With the initial pick, with the waves as well, all the force errors, that was Bigatron's Lord to win, and Geekfam, they committed. This is what experience shows. For Geekfam, especially Beloisky's calls, man, he knows that these waves are not going their way. They'll rather just go in, commit, try to look for that team fight. Even despite Beloisky getting kicked off in the side, the call remains. Go in and 50-50 that Lord. Now with the Enhanced Lord, it all, it's all shifting back. Marky has a power spike that we were waiting. That was the win condition for Geek Fam. Marky getting the Melfic Roar. Now with Penetration, the front line will get shredded. And remember what I said earlier. If oh Geek God. Fam are able to push this game over from 14 to 16 minutes, this is when Geek Fam can really turn the tides and that's what we're seeing here in the 14th minute. That Lord Swing was massive. It definitely turned tides a bit quicker for them. Game fact, by your new application, GoPay. Yep. Brody becomes a mounted victorious hero as Big Chan defeated Evo's Glory earlier while charged though. It seems like they want to look for a fight, but they are going to push back. So yeah, it is a winning hero if they are able to snowball. That was the case against Evo's Glory in the Hope Cup. Right now, Geek has been holding him down. Yeah, Bruno is slowly... Getting online there for Mariki. He is trying to stack up those items and look at the gold swing. Now 1k up for Geek Fam. Yeah, a lot of uh, turrets as well down as well. That mid side turret is able to be taken down by them. They are looking for this turret bottom side and now Ray jumps in at the front line. So this is so much sustain coming in from Geek Fam. Oh, they turn as well. Come on, Torres. So Take a look at the damage, man. Ooh. He's untargetable for a minute and flickers out of the way. Geek Fam, good. Good initiation again. I feel like the last three fights was just the creativity from Geek Fam. Yeah, I have to agree with that, man. The creativity has been phenomenal for the side of Geek Fam, and I would say decisiveness as well. They've been very decisive in the approach to every single team fight, even a Lord Dance where they shouldn't have had the winning position. It was Bigatron who had, again, three waves pushing, especially the side waves slow pushing into the base, but Geekfam just made the decision to commit to 50-50 it and to hold it down. Special props to Ray for being the one to actually stand up there and being confident enough to hold it down from Super Ken, who was trying his best to get that Lord to reset. Yeah, the Divine Glaive also ready for Moreno to really just soak up more damage towards Geekfam, but they have to hold longer. But Geekfam, the more it holds longer, the better it becomes for them. Yep. Especially the items always getting ready now. Key in the brush, trying to wow. really hold off all of the pressure coming in from Geekfam. And now they're everywhere on the map. They have priorities in three lanes, up top, mid, and bottom as well. So beat Bigatron has to really hold this. Lord Dance coming in soon because the Lord has spawned. And I think Bigatron, they want to contest this, of course, because they want to have a momentum swing. But it is all for Geekfam's for taking. Let's say this time Geek Fam try to stabilize a boy though on the backside. Oh my god, the true damage Whoa. from Sorizo actually hurt him. Now, Geek Fam will fight this. All spells Key. are up. Oh, Key. take a look at that, Key. Jumps no in, no fall. Damage, damage though. Here, last inside in the backside. Good winner, scrunch into delay, but Luke trying to buy time. A boy wow. taken down, and Luke in the front side will be taken down as well. But Loiski bought the immortality, but what can he do? No. Just soaks in damage. And Marky will find and destroy the immortality, but Come it on. seems like it is all the red oh. robots. So Rizzo last insanity just to intimidate Key Fam. He's gonna go down as well here. I think yeah. this is a good pickoff. And of course, Bigatron take everything as they lose nothing. Geek Fam, three players down. They are now bleeding. Let's see if they can actually end this. The base turret in the mid lane is very, very low. They'll have two waves if they are able to shove that top side, but they're gonna go in. No clear power. Ray taken out as well as Marke. And the red robots in this best of three will strike first. Yep, they win it after a momentum swing, a shaky one at that. But of course, for Bigatron, they hold on with all of the advantages they have. And uh, Geek Fam, it was very close for them to really bring the tides around to come back in that game. The gold swing was there, was theirs for the taking. Uh,